Season 27 Necromancer Tragul set. If you ask me, this is the best and most fun build for the Necromancer for the upcoming Season 27. We're going to go through it now and I'll show you a demonstration. This is going to be great for pushing. Um, you could make some variations with like Stuart Greaves boots and stuff for speed farming. I'll mess around with speed farming in the future. Right now we're more focused on the pushing aspect with this build. So Tragools, as you can see, good looking set, especially if you color, color coordinate and have yourself some cosmic wings like I do. Um, opening up the, the inventory here. We're using five pieces of Tragools, but because we've got Ring of Royal Grandeur here, we're going to benefit from the six-piece bonus. So I've got the helm, the chest, the pants, the boots, and the gloves. We're using Orghild's shoulders and Orghild's braces. Again, because we have Ring of Royal Grandeur, we've got two items equipped, but we're going to benefit with the three-piece bonus of Orghild's as well. So we're going to melt down Elite's. A lot quicker i'm using the haunted vision and also in season 27 you can sanctify one item using the angelic crucible which will give you one of three different abilities per class in the game obviously we're using blood nova or death nova with the blood nova rune so we definitely want to get this special ability which is hitting enemies with death nova five consecutive times adds a spirit that afflicts an enemy every fifth cast of Death Nova. Up to three spirits can be sent at a time. So again, more Death Novas, more five hits means more damage. Dainty's Binding for the Belt. I'm using Crispin Sentence in the Ring Slot. The Ring of Royal Grandeur, as mentioned. We're using Funerary Pick as the weapon and iron rose for the offhand all right we'll quickly go to skills the skills we're using siphon blood with power shift death nova with blood nova as previously mentioned blood rush with metabolism so we get two blood rushes simulacrum with blood and bone bone armor dislocation as always the primary skill for damage reduction for necromancers and frailty with early grave passives you want to use swift harvesting final service spreading malediction and stand alone stand by me stand by me for can ice cube we're using blood tide blade so death nova in deals 400 percent increased damage for every enemy within 25 yards so big packs means more damage a killer caress because we're going to be above 95% resource the entire time. And as always, necros are a little bit on the squishy side. This one's not too bad, Tragul's. Blood Nova's pretty good. It's better than Rathma's. It's more fun. It's stronger. It's got better survivability and damage reduction. It's got everything. It's just better. And convention of elements here for the jewelry slot in Kenai's Cube. When that physical uh, damage ticks over over here in the corner if you're not too sure there it is right there physical damage we get those four seconds of 200 percent increased damage during that time so that's nice um the legendary gems that we're using i'm actually gonna sub out you can use bane of the powerful if you want if you're speed farming this is more of a pushing build so i'm gonna actually get that out of there and replace it with bane of the stricken in a moment but i'm using bane of the trapped and zaystone of vengeance but the other one is kind of optional if you're pushing you definitely want to use bane of the stricken because the rift guardian can be a bit difficult with this build you can kill trash easy because the more enemies around you the more damage you do but single target damage does suffer a little bit here so i'm going to sub out bane of the powerful now and we'll whack in bane of the stricken something that i prepared earlier somewhere here there it is and i think that pretty much covers everything so i've gone through the armor um i use the amethyst gem for the helm slot for more life and then for the chest and for the pants we're using the topaz gems for intelligence uh, all of my ancients here have been augmented as well with intelligence don't forget to socket your weapon make sure it's like ancient minimum or a primal socket the weapon and make sure you put in the emerald gem which will increase your crit hit damage by 130 percent it's a huge damage increase you don't want to miss out on that uh what else what else sometimes i rush through this and i pop on in before i've gone through everything i think i've gone through everything 
I think we're covered. I've gone through all the skills. I've gone through passives, right? Just double checking everything. Otherwise, I'll get nasty comments in the YouTube channel. You didn't go through this. You didn't go through that. Paragon is always very self-explanatory, but if you're new, I'll explain it. So you want to make sure you cap that 25% movement speed, which is from, you benefit from your Paragon and also the gear items you have equipped. Everything else you can put into intel intelligence. If you're not maxed out like I am, so all of my offense, defense, and utilities are all maxed out, 50 out of 50, that's okay. You want to split your points between crit chance, crit damage, then go attack speed, and then everything else into cooldown reduction. Cooldowns, um, you're not going to struggle with, with, with this particular build. For defense, you put your points into resist all, then armor, then life, then life regen in that order. For utility, we want to go area damage, life per hit, resource cost reduction, and then gold pickup radius, last of all. All right, one thing to go and talk about this, another thing to go on in and do it together. So this is the Blood Nova build or Death Nova with Blood Nova rune. Tragul set for the Necromancer. Season 27, the season of the Angelic Crucibles, sanctifying items. All right, let's go do this one together. We'll do a, a nice lazy 110 just to serve as an example. You don't want to see me push for like, you know, 15 minutes or whatever. Don't forget to activate your simulacrum straight away. Find an enemy. And all you do is siphon blood. Don't actually don't actually cast your um, blood nova or your death nova with blood nova. Because if you cast it, it's gonna use your essence. Sorry, it's gonna use your health with blood nova. Blood nova will use your health. And if you do that. Then you're going to be running out of health, like this, as you can see. So don't do it. I just did it as an example. It's only a 110, so we're not going to be struggling. Here we go. We're going to get the, um, a lot of knockbacks here. We're going to get uh, an additional elite because we've got, um, our follower equipped with the Nemesis Braces. We're walled in at the moment. Please don't be a dead end. It is a dead end. God damn it. So it is, a it is a bit of a pushing build, so it's not going to be the fastest. You can, like, uh, either equip Stuart Greaves or put him in Can Ice Cube. Stuart Greaves is great for movement speed increasing. And you've got other abilities, skills, gems and shit that you can utilize if you're making a speed version of this. Maybe I'll go through a speed version in the future. But right now this is fun. Just need some elites to kill, damn it. Had the worst luck with maps today. Alright, this is a little bit better. Here's an elite to kill. So yeah, just cast your siphon blood. And de uh, Death Nova with Blood Nova will uh, automatically cast for you. Brythorn, finally a good map. One of my favorite maps, actually. And you can just see elites explode. It's actually really, really fun. This sure beats the Rathma set, uh, which was super overpowered. Ridiculous, ridiculous ever powered the first couple days of PTR when it started. But it's been nerfed. Not nerfed, it's actually um, operating the way it's meant to now. It wasn't meant to be as overpowered as it was. Like, you're not supposed to be clearing 150 rifts in under 2k paragons. Mechanics aren't operating as intended, if that's the case. But anyway, this is a real good one. Real fun build to play for the Necro. It's going to be very viable next season. Right, let's go find some more elites. Where are you all? There's one. Oh, there's two here. Three. Holy shit. I might come close to summoning the Rift Guardian. A 
Lots of juicy purple orbs. Make sure you collect them all. Look at them all. Holy shit. So three packs. Is there another one here? I literally just need one more, I think. And I'll be able to summon the Rift Guardian up. Maybe a bit of trash. A bit more... Oh, Polonovich! Polonovich definitely summoning Rift Guardian now. And we've got the Power Pylon. So with Banner the Stricken, the Rift Guardian's going to go down a lot easier. With Power Pylon, even easier. So perfect timing. Just like that. So that is your True Ghoul's Blood Nova pushing build. Keep on pushing, baby. That was just to serve as, a, serve as an example. You guys put this together. As always, you can experiment and chop and change some things around. Move some passives, try new things. It's Diablo 3. It's, it's all about variations and coming up with your own ideas and testing shit out. So give it a go. Put your own variations in there and see how high you can push with the Tragul's Blood Nova Necromancer. As always... It's been a pleasure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube if you want to uh, be, be, be informed with future videos and, and other things that I go through. I do uh, other other content as well on the YouTube channel. I do trailer reactions, movie reviews, music video reactions. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way, anytime there's a new video that drops, you'll be notified. And please follow me on Twitch TV, Bannock13. Goodbye.